Hello, this is Orin again from ESL India and we are back with our second installment in the Lena Cosplay Tutorial series. In this part of the tutorial, we're going to focus on the corset of Lena and since this is a tutorial for beginners, we're going to start off with all the basic techniques. So let's get started. So what we need is corset, gesso, casting raisin, masking tape, a soldering iron, clay tools, velcro, cutting knives, paint, clay, heat gun, foam, wobla and some nail paints. Starting off with the raisin, we're going to go ahead and cast our raisin using moulds of the shape. I'm using a square and a round shape over here. These are going to be used later on. Then while your raisin has been solidified, take a cutter and sharp all the edges so you have the shape that you need. Next we're going to paint the raisin diamond and we're going to take nail paint and we're going to paint at the back of it which is going to give us the look of the glow of the gem and once it's dried we're going to flip it over and we're going to paint the sides and the top using sparkly nail paint. Now take out your corset and make sure that you line it up nicely with the masking tape and draw your pattern on one side. Once you're happy with the pattern, rip out the masking tape and then transfer this pattern onto a piece of foam. Once you have done with tracing your pattern on a small piece of foam, we're going to do the exact same thing on a larger piece of foam and then we're going to cut it out. Now taking your larger piece of foam, we're going to go ahead and use glue to seal it. Apply two layers of glue to seal it before you apply gesso. A second layer of gesso would add more texture to it and then we are ready to paint. Taking a darker color, we are going to highlight the shadows into the edges. Moving on to our resin cast, we are going to take our gem and we are going to trace it down on a piece of obla, cutting off the edges. Then taking strips of wobbler, we're going to heat and roll them up. Placing our gem into the middle of the strip, we're going to heat it up and trace it at the edges to secure it in position. Once dried up, we're going to cut off the edges and then we're going to paint it using the same nail paint that we used to paint the gem. Now we're going to take some clay and we're going to mold it into shape of the feather that we need. Taking your clay sculpting tools, you're going to cut and shape the pattern of the feathers. Once you're happy with your design, you take a piece of wobla and cut it according to the size of the feather that you have and place it on top of the clay mold that you just made. Start it with a heat gun, heat off the edges and once it's hot, while it's still hot, keep on pressing it down in all the nooks and crannies. That way you get the entire pattern design. The wobla is very hot right now so you can wear gloves in this process. Once it's dried off completely, remove all the clay and then move the excess wobla from it by using sharp scissors. Now we're going to assemble it onto the corset. First paint the corset according to the shading that it requires. This corset was a little too lighter so I'm going to paint it darker and add some shading and shadows onto it. Then we're going to shade on the middle parts of the corset. 
before we attach the feathers to the corset we're going to gesso and paint them according to the design adding layers of color different colors you can add different texture to the feather according to whichever you want I decided to use the same technique that we used in the previous video while we made the head feathers. Taking your yellow foam pattern, we're going to trace it on top of the corset. We are going to be attaching this using velcro. So cut off your velcro into pieces and attach it on parts of the foam. Use whatever strong glue you have. I'm using rubber adhesive here and once you have attached velcro to all the parts, let it dry completely. Then I'm going to heat up the feathers and try attaching them onto the gem and the foam part itself. For this, I'm taking an extra piece of wobla and I'm going to hot glue gun it down into the feather, the gem and the foam pieces. The heat from the hot glue gun should be enough to heat up the wobla itself. Once this is dried up completely, I'm going to put the velcro attachments onto each and every velcro and then I'm going to paint off the back side of the feathers as well. Simply dab a little glue at the back of your velcro so that you have your tracing on where the velcro has to be attached. Using a strong fabric glue, I'm gluing the velcro onto the corset. You guys can wait for it to dry down and then stretch the velcro. Once ready, just attach your piece, your design of foam onto the corset and you're good to go. So that was the basic step for the tutorial on the corset. You guys can go ahead and stitch your own pattern for the corset but for beginners I would suggest buy one and add on to the details. In the next tutorial we'll be back and show you how to make the belt and the skirt for this set which is going to be stitching part. So make sure you guys check that one out till that time, work on your costume and we'll see you in the next tutorial.